Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ, and welcome to the Midweek Devotional. Today, and for some weeks going forward, I'd like to draw from the book of Proverbs. If ever there was a book in the Bible designed to be memorized and internalized and utilized in the fabric of our daily living, it would be the book of Proverbs. Because Proverbs is full of short, concise, pragmatic directives and truths that are designed to help us live wisely and well. Or as the book itself says, simply to do what is right and just and fair. To do it, not think about it, but to help us to do it. So for example, if, you know, maybe before you lost your temper, you heard that word in your ear, that voice on your shoulder that said, a fool gives full vent to his anger, but a wise person keeps themselves under control. Or before you entered that argument slash debate, you remembered a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Or when you were tempted to whisper a little tidbit to a friend, what if you remembered a gossip betrays a confidence, but a trustworthy person keeps a secret? Wouldn't that be nice to have those words memorized and internalized so they can be utilized? Well, I just want to share a couple verses with you this day from Proverbs 7, verses 1 through 3. And uh, this is what it says, my son keep my words. I like how it says my son, very personal, like a father talking to his son, wanting him to, to do well in life. My son, keep my words and store up my commands within you. Keep my commands and you will live. Guard my teachings as the apple of your eye. What a lovely phrase that is. Bind them on your fingers, write them on the tablet of your heart. In other words, take these words seriously. Take them to heart. Keep them guard them. So, you know, what does that mean that guard them as the apple of your eye? That's an interesting expression, right? I have a, a commentary in my Bible. I recommend Bibles that have little notes in them that help you understand the Bible better. And this one says about this, the apple, apple of your eye is an old English expression for the eye center or pupil. The whole body is tuned to protect the pupil from harm is what this says. Eyelids reflexively snap shut at the slightest hint of danger. Tear ducts bathe your eye with a cleansing liquid if any irritant enters. Nerve endings scream danger at the slightest pain or pressure. Isn't that interesting? Proverbs is urging us to take as much care of its teachings as we do instinctively of our eyes. Guard my teaching as the apple of your eye. This is important teaching, useful for wise living. You know, at one point, God called Israel the apple of his eye. And that means that that is something or someone you cherish above all other things. How much do we cherish this word? Sometimes it's a measure of how much we memorize and or at least internalize and utilize these words in our daily living. May we keep these commands so that we may live well. May we guard these teachings as the apple of our eye. And in doing so, we may become people of character and kindness, people of wisdom and strength. May it be so for you and for me. God bless.